All right, guys, welcome back to the channel for part two of our grind playthrough. I did start this recording a little while ago, but my recording software, for whatever reason, just crashed, so I kind of had to restart. Luckily, I didn't make it very far, so I'm not upset at, at, at all, at all by this. Um, the good news is, is um, we're here. We're here together right now, and I enjoy that. Guys, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so that, you, that way you don't miss any of our uploads. I upload almost every single day with more and more new video games and uploading a lot of grime and the ascent the last the last couple days here, and I've been really en enjoying these games. That said as well, make sure you uh, leave a like on the video and comment on the video too. Let me know your thoughts on the game so far. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it, and I would love to uh, have a little discussion what your guys' thoughts are and go from there. That said, let's get started on this. I did discover a little bit of a secret area. So if you didn't know in the first video, we ended up taking out the first boss in the game and then it leads to a cutscene, and then this area right here. There's this where you can um, level up some of your abilities and learn some traits and all that. I did put a point into dexterity and residence so that way I can have better scaling on my finger blade here. And with that, right after that, on the left side here, is this little secret area. I didn't know about it at first until I kind of like saw the hole in the ground right here. And then you can just go down right here on this platform. Now in this area, there's a couple things. Right up here, you'll find one of the, uh, the, the metal shards. And then there's an enemy over here on the left, right there. It is a dead end over there, so it's just a, it's another per thing that you can learn another trait from. And then over here is where the real fight is. On the other side of this guy is a weapon called the Earglaive. It has six strength and six dexterity that's required to wield it, but it has pretty poor scaling. So that said, I'm, I'm sure it hits really hard, but won't do so well later on in the game. But I'm trying to uh, learn this guy's traits as well. As you can see, he's a bit uh, rambunctious. He wants to fight all the time that said let's do this let's see if we can learn his uh his traits for this i'm going to use the uh the club here it hits a little bit harder the finger glaive is really great but it's only great against multiple enemies at once The fight itself with this guy is not bad at all. He's very easy, actually. All you have to do is bait out that attack, dodge, hit him twice, repeat. The issue is, is actually timing the attack for that right there to learn his trait. That's the hard part. I don't even know if it's possible based on what his health bar looks like. We're going to try. Okay, we're going to hit him a couple more times here. And then we're going to try this. Wish me luck. That's the hard part right there. Timing that attack is such a pain. Like I said, it's a pain. Ah. I feel like I'm doing it too late, but also I feel like I'm doing it too early. I know it's possible. I've done it once, but I did it when he had too much health. I don't know if it's actually something that will do anything for me based on what his health bar looks like. So I'm doing this in a little bit of experimentation to learn more about how all this, all this works in the game. Let's try again. You see what I mean, though? The fight itself is very easy. It's very easy. It's just timing the uh, the ability there. That's the hard part. Oh, that was a bad swing. Oh, 
Okay, he's beat below the threshold again. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, that was a weird jump back. I'm not sure why he did that. Dang. It's such a hard thing to time with this, this specific enemy. Oh. Well, we go again. With the enemy uh, that I showed you on the left path there, we learned this. It's a fledgling ear. Um, increases damage done by 15% for 15 seconds after repelling an attack. Can stack up to three times, but buff is lost upon taking damage, which is really cool. Really, really cool thing. It, it rewards you for different play styles and all that based on how you're playing the game and what these things can do for you based on how you play your game. Which I think is pretty cool. It means the game is going to offer some replayability as well for different play styles. The heavy attack is not it. It's a little bit too slow. It's kind of crazy how easy the fight is, but timing that animation is so hard. All right, he's below the threshold again. Let's try. Too early again. Don't like when he does that lunge. Shoot. Okay, so he's immune. When they when they do that, they're immune. It just kind of like knocks them out of the animation. So it looks like we cannot learn anything from this guy, which makes sense because we gain hunt points from him. And that's what I wanted to know right there is if like we could learn a, like a special tactic from him based on that. And it looks like we can't, which is fine. Uh, but again, on the other side of that guy right here is the ear glaive right here. You'll just see it in a little, like a little floating thing right there. So overall, that fight is fairly easy. Just landing that animation that was more difficult. And again, there is another guy on the left there that will teach you that special tactic, but then it's a dead end on the other side of him. And then there is a thing over here that you can see off screen as well, but I see no way to get over there and dodging right here does nothing. There is no wall to destroy, so I'm not sure what that entails there. Um, don't think there's anything on the rest of the left side here. Unless on the other side of this guy is a bit of like, um, a breakable wall or something. I didn't really check that, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. I don't think there is based on what I saw before. So we're just going to move, move along here. Let's continue on. with the finger blade again this weapon right here is really great because it allows you to over penetrate enemies it just sends projectiles out it's really cool stoneborn of the broken sky you will be welcomed by in lithic okay cool oh, it small. it stopped it never stopped before never oh no where did it go Evil not. I was drawn to the echoing cries above so long ago. Oh, I lost myself in the tune of its sorrow willingly, eager to drown in another's woe rather than... For it. No, they're back, the head noises, the ones only I can hear. Valion. Weeper, where did you go?
Um, okay. Ardor. Ardor increases the amount of mass gained from defeated foes up to 100%. Plus three ardor per kill, plus two ardor per absorb, minus two ardor on taking damage. Ardor does not affect bosses and mini bosses mass gain. You see how those projectiles were coming out as I was hitting that guy, though? It's really effective against multiple enemies at once. Okay, so there's an item here. Fossil Fist? Another weapon of sorts. So it's two strength, five dexterity. Interesting. Already there's a pretty good variety in the, uh, the weapons in the game. All right. Is there anything down here? There is. Volatile blob. You know, in past games, I was taught very much so to not jump down holes like that. But this game, it's rewarding me. What are you going to do? Are you going to, are you going to blow up? Okay. It does blow up. More volatile blobs. Boulder plate legs. And ardent sand. Now let's check out these leggings here. Neat. All right, looks like we can go up here. But also, it looks like there might be something down here. This game, like, the, the way this game is playing, it looks like there's just a lot of hidden things. Maybe not. There's a thing over there. But also, like, why is this... It only clears off a tiny bit and there's nothing else. Okay. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Ooh. Ow. Give me your soul. Claw hound. Okay. Wait. Why did that one have health? Wretch. Okay, there's that stuff down there. Makes me wonder if there's a secret here. Maybe not. Oops. Oh. There it is. You don't gotta jump, you gotta dash. Blood Metal Splinter. Not sure what they do overall just yet, but we got it. Oh. Whoops, sorry.
There you go. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Is this what I'm looking for? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Very nice. Boulder plate chest. We're looking pretty cool now. Thing is, though, is I don't really think they're affecting stats. I think it's purely cosmetic. Alright, that is a breakable wall, but it breaks from the other side. Based on the feedback of those hits. There you go. Unformed hand. Oh, what the heck are you? I don't like this guy. Point gained. Okay. Almost died for it, but okay. I'm very low health, guys. I wanted to uh, absorb him. That did not go as planned. Beacon attuned. Map information updated. Okay. All right. Whoa, sir. Could you not do that? I guess it makes sense why some of them were uh, dying earlier then. Bit of a risk on that, but we need to try to build up our uh, healing here. Kind of far away from any of the. Uh, I don't. I, I'm just gonna call them bonfires. There's a thing over there. What do we got? Get that thing away from me. Okay, <laughs> there's not a lot here. Just a, a little secret. Hey, bud. Okay, we need one more of these to heal up. Luckily, those ones are pretty easy to do that too. All right, now we heal. Very good, very good. Volatile Eye. Oh, here's one. Nice. Heck. 
head shell. That's what these are called, head shells. All right, let's up our force a little bit here. And then uh, we'll go with, let's go with another residence. Let's get crazy on the residence. How's that sound? And then claw hound dashing leaves behind an echo for a short time. You restore 15% of total force if the echo is damaged. Okay. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. What does our map look like? Okay. What's up, guy? Hmm. That last quake was different, and that watcher hardly watches for anything anymore. Shidra will not be pleased. Oh. Why, hello, the... Whoa. World's breath. What was that? Did you? Did you see that? We nearly got crushed. Oh, my. Oh, my. I hate this side. How could anyone get used to the sky constantly falling down? It's fine. I'm fine. Now, how can I help you? A carven, I presume? Here to collect and trade as well, no doubt. Well, I suppose I could offer you the same terms of trade your kind would get in the world pillar. Here, have a look. Welcome again. Anything new to trade? All right, let's... Let's trade with this guy. Let's see what he's got. He's got a claw. The scales on all three stats. Jeez. Strength, dexterity, and uh, resonance. The resonance is required to zero, though. So I don't know if that's like just... You know, I think it shows because it does have scaling on it. It's very poor. It's, very, it's E, but all the same. And then the mall sword. Scales on dexterity and resonance. Weapon speed is fast. I kind of want that. How do we get it? 975 of what? What is that material? Okay, so it's the, it's the same as uh, your souls, essentially. So if we get 975, we can get that claw sword. That could be cool. It does scale on resonance a little bit, so that might be fun. We'll have to keep that in mind. All right, we need two more of these wretches. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Let me see. Where do we need to go? All right, I see a little path on the uh, the other side here. <laughs> it's crazy that you just like one shot some of these enemies with that. I'm at 255 already after I just was just at like what 27 or 37, so we can get this stuff pretty quick. No, it's above that we need to go. I am capped out on the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, ardor on the top left. It shows the infinite symbol. Also, there's a thing up there. How does one get up top there? I see virtually nothing that would allow me to get up there. But very clearly, there's got to be a way. Okay, nothing there. Okay, so looks like it'll be something we'll encounter later, perhaps. In the meantime, we go this way. Yeah. 
easy. All right. Well, let's go see what's down here, of course. Got ourselves another blood metal splinter. Is this anything here? No. So tell me, guys, what do you think of this game? Honestly, based on everything so far, I am really enjoying it. I'm a big fan of Souls-like games in general, personally as well as I am a fan of platformers. I grew up in the age where platformers were very common. Think of things like the original Super Mario Brothers. And then when PlayStation came out, you had Crash Bandicoot with Sega, you had Sonic the Hedgehog. I grew up on those games. Those were the games that were a big part of my life as a child. So I, I highly enjoy them personally myself. So it's, it's kind of... I enjoy this. Oh, can't do that. There we go. Took a couple hits there. Didn't really want to, but that's what we got. So yeah, I enjoy games like this immensely. Souls-like platformer combination is right up my alley. Also, I did see the thing that goes down. I just wanted to make sure that nothing was over here. I just took fall damage from that, unfortunately. Waiting for the explosion to happen. <gasps> no. Okay, I am 1 HP. Are you evil? No? It's getting closer. At times, I can almost hear it again. The weeping. It is still too far away, below even this place. This dark, sad place. Merciful Shidra, those poor beings, doomed by the ground they formed from. If only we could all weep. Everyone's very depressed in this area. Burst lantern? It's a weapon. Um, it doesn't show what it scales on, but the weapon speed is very fast. Applies burst stacks to prey. Each stack increase the damage dealt when the stacks are detonated. Special attack detonates all burst attacks. Damage increases significantly with higher stacks. Um, let's go ahead and put it on. I'm curious. It's very close range weapon. Very close range. Alright, so there's something over there, so I might end up getting killed here. Oh, unfortunate. I was right, though. <laughs> we died. Lost vessel. Yes, yes. We need to get back there so we can get back our ardor. Do we have the points we need to trade with you, sir? No, we are 14 shy of getting the mall sword. 14 shy of it. So let's, uh, actually, you know what? We can get some really quick right here from this guy. Hey, what's up? Yeah. 
Interesting. Let me get that mall sword, bud. Didn't take us really all that long to farm that up to grab that, so I'm fine with it. I'm not sure how it'll be compared to the, uh, the finger blade. Where is it? Oh, I don't have the dexterity for it yet. So we got to get two more dexterity. That's fine. We'll just hold on to it for now. I didn't think about that factor until now. Whoops. But hey, we have it when we're for, you know, for later. Ah, jerk. Yeah, this weapon's not good. If you were curious, that weapon's not very good. Let's try it again here, though. Yeah, that that it it blows. Ah, what am I? Why am I stuck? My character wouldn't move. The lantern is a neat idea. I wonder if it if it just becomes like very high damage if you can stack up like a maybe a double digit number. But the fact of the matter is, you have to get too close. And then the actual detonation animation is very slow and clunky. So that's just not worth it. it this way how do we get down there oh no way all right i think we just lost all that ardor unfortunately because of that It's gone. It's gone. All right, whatever. It's fine. I was going the wrong way anyhow. Let's pretend it didn't happen, okay? You and me together. It never happened. down this way. I just want to see what's down here. Okay. Cool.
All right, I think maybe this is the type of enemy that the this specializes against. Dude. <laughs> Force is a problem. The recovery rate on it is really, really bad. But I think maybe that's where the lantern comes into play. You just stack up a bunch of those and then detonate it on him. Because he was highly resistant to everything there that I was doing. Rude. Living rock. We've already used our heal. really take our time with this ah. yeah that's terrible damage that's awful Just terrible, dude. I used up all of my freaking force. No. Well, this guy's annoying. We got him just below the threshold in which we could have, uh, did the drain thing on him. Unfortunate. And we need 1,048 to get one more level. So I want to make sure we put this into, into dexterity. Um, which is going to be probably around 1100 to get the level after that. So it's going to be a little while before we get that going for two dexterity for the claw sword. Hey. There you go. Oh my god. I 
I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> I'm just very not good at this game. All right. Let's try this again, guys. You know what? Um, let me change out. Where is it? This for that? Just for now? It's not much higher damage, but it's something. Oof. That was almost bad. Yeah, this is much better against this. Okay, new prey found. Now, how the heck do we get up there? Oh, that goes all the way down. We could have used that. I wonder if we can do this then. No? I was thinking maybe we could like bat it over here and blow that up, but there's really not much point in that, is there? I wonder then if we can do this. Let's equip that here. Hmm. That just falls right through. Then I wonder if there's somehow we can target that up there. No, we can't throw and jump at the same time, unfortunately. I was thinking maybe we could throw this over there, but there's no way to do that either. Hmm. I feel like the, I feel like we have to throw something at it to make this work. I just don't know what. What does this do? Oh, 250 mass. Cool. We can use that to level up some stuff. What does this do? It can be crushed to invigorate the vessel, increasing force regeneration by 25% for a duration. Okay, so I don't know if there's any way we can do this from this side uh, with what we have going on. One would think that you could just throw something up there, but when I jump, I can't throw anything at all. Doesn't allow me to get up there whatsoever. I don't know. And that's breakable from the other side. So I guess that's the extent of that for right now. I'm sad about it, but what can you do? Ow. Okay. Really? That's just not a thing right now? 
You guys ever see what depression looks like? All right, well, the good news is we don't have to go back down there. That's the good news here. That said, let's go kill an enemy real quick. Get a quick level up. I thought you could, um, reflect those spears, but I guess not. I'm very bad at this. Okay, there's that. We need 11.30 for the next level, and then we can put on our, uh, mall sword. Right, it is dexterity. Yeah, we need four dexterity and then two resonance. We'll try that out and see how it goes. It should be fun. I think I remember seeing that weapon specifically in uh, one of the gameplay trailers. Let me get that. Thank you. Yep, just gonna pretend you don't exist. Just moving on. Hey. Rockhead. Too early. All right, two out of eight on that guy. Anything down there? There is. <laughs> it's funny because like, you should be rewarded for making it making it across without fail, but instead it's like, well, you kind of want to fail because then you get the extra items. Oh. Welcome, welcome, new stone friend. Have you come to ju- Hmm. You don't look very stone-like. Uh, hmm. Head smaller than torso high hands as long as as low hands carving her back tell moms moms multiple moms we are in lithic hello there buds hello okay while we're here let's go ahead and Oh, we have to equip it manually. Wait, did I do the right thing? There we go. And now we can level up again. Also, let's check out this skewer dashing leaves behind a distortion for a short time dealing damage when enemies attack it 100% benefit from resonance. Yeah, yeah, it looks good to me. Considering we have that as well. We're all about the dashing and it scales on resonance. That's kind of cool. Uh, that said, we can put this on in place of 
this. Look at that. Look at that. Are you mad? He is. He's mad. And now we own his soul. Hello there. Listen up, you uglies. Your warship is required. A beautiful one has arisen from the ugliest of all the broken sky places. This is a sign that me, and even possibly one such as you, may find some uh, small beauty somewhere. Uh, that thing you call you. Oh, there they are. Quickly, humble yourselves before the naturally proportional one. I said humble. Oh, look. They left you a gift. This follower thing is already really paying off. Okay, thank you. Everyone say thank you. Ow. Lithic portrait. What does that do? Miscellaneous. Okay. Uh, I did see some pathway over here. There is multiple of you, and I'm in pain. A lot of, a lot of pain. There you go. There we go. I got a little hairy for a minute. Oop. Okay. I thought we were going to die there. What the heck, man? Rude. You are shielded and now you are dead. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I timed that perfectly to get crushed. Okay, so the special attack sends them flying. Neat. Okay. There we go. That's complete now. Uh, how do we get down there without losing health now? It looks like a pretty long fall from here. Oh my god. There it is. Nope. I'm sad. <laughs> oh my god. So what it looks like you have to do with those shielded guys specifically is time it well enough to do the uh the suction thing and then it'll break their shield. curious there we go just get rid of them I 
I mean, it's kind of cheesy, but it works, right? It works. We have an elevator system. Okay. Cool. Hey guys. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Son of a pain. Two of those spears guys, spear guys at once is really difficult. But we don't need to because there's nothing else over there for me. Here we are again. Oh. We got to time this just right. I don't know if there is a way to. Yeah. There might be a moment here in just a second. No? I thought they were like overlapping in such a way where their intervals were changing, but looks like it's actually not. There it is. I was thinking originally that you had, like, it was something you had to do, like, in just one, like, I stay on the ground, but it looks like you had to, like, run in, jump, and then dash. Uh oh. Pain. Let's see. That was my window just a moment ago. Okay, there it is. Nice. There better be something cool over here, dude. Debris field. Uh oh. I'm scared. Oh, hey. All right. New enemy type, looks like. Yep. I don't have the health for this. Ooh.
Hmm, he's all over the place. Oh. We made it all the way there, dude. Made it all the way there to be killed by that guy. I will say that I like this weapon, though. It'll, we can get a lot of swings in with it. Interesting little area that we found. There's got to be something over there. It's quite the task to actually get over there, though. These spear guys, we cheese. We go down again. I'm going to try to get in there again and see if we can actually uh, defeat that thing. We opened up a shortcut of some kind. I'm just not sure. Where? Maybe it'll be down here. No, these are also different enemies. New prey found. All right, that guy got eliminated. Maybe we can continue going down. I'm not sure where we would find the uh, the other side of this. I was hoping that we could find an easier way in there, you know? Oof, that was almost bad. What's this? Right, mom's art class. Left, sibling mining. Okay. Oh, hey, he won of these right here. Nice. I don't even know where I am at this point. I don't even know where I am anymore. But hey, we found one of these so we can spawn back here. That's kind of useful. Rockhead. Increase maximum health by 10%. Yeah, well, we're going to go for that. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer at this point. There are many things over here, but all right, guys, we are over an hour long on this video. So we're going to stop here and we'll pick it up right after this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching me fail on repeat in this game. I am enjoying it though. It is a genuinely good time. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you leave a like and a comment on the video for me. And of course, if you haven't as well, subscribe to the channel because I do this all the time. I play single player and co-op games. I upload them for you guys to check out and then we talk about them. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you on the next one.